In five months, some people living in Lee couldn't park in their garages, causing one man to use a dolly to carry groceries from the car to his home. Now residents of Mill Street can once again park on the street thanks to the completion of a sewer project. Our Kristen Kite find out how the closure impacted people who live there and what they think of it now. The mayor of Leeds says since 1994, the city has been trying to separate sewer systems and storm drains. <laughs> As people know, if you have the sewer and the storms uh, in the same uh, pipe, uh, it, in storm events, it tends to overflow and cause lots of people problems. This was the last of the major uh, streets to be done, uh, and it'll probably take care of almost 80% of uh, the issues in storm events that LEED has. While Mill Street is now open, it did come with obstacles. No one was parking on the street, and so the, uh, the, uh, getting our groceries down or anything large that we might have bought, uh, getting it down to the house. However, we were fortunate that uh, basically the city said, just give us a call, and more than times than not, uh, a police officer would come out. Rich said when it came to him having to buy groceries for five and a half months while Mill Street was shut down, he had to use a dolly just like this one, carrying things like dog food and bird seed down the hill. The city and the officers were very kind in helping us with that. And we're open. Right. <laughs> this is one of those where it's a big expense, people are going to be driving on it, but they really don't know all the work that went into this project uh, really to help the citizens of Lead uh, and the residents of South Dakota with better, better water. Everett says it took $1.5 million to replace the sewer system and provide 28 people on the block with new hookups. Reporting in Lead, I'm Kristen Kite.